It's Mikey V. Join the Night Crew once again. Yes. Uh, Taylor Higgins, if you don't know, she wrote a book. I'll let you say the name of the book. Between the Stitching. Hey. And what this is all about, it's actually number one seller on Amazon, so round yes. of applause. Right. Thank you, right. thank but you. it's all about how tough dating is, and you're a dang professional athlete, and how that makes it even harder. And what we come to realization is, dating right now, period, is just not easy. We have, you know, we talk about every night in group chat on Kiss 108, yes. and we are three single people and, and we're on every dating app in the world and we're like <laughs> going through breakups and I just went through a breakup. But like for you, why is dating so different now? Why is it so tough for you? And, and kind of break that down for us. Dating as me now? Currently, just no, 2018, like why for a female or a male in general? I think we go through these broken relationships and then it leaves, leaves us damaged a little bit. Like we're a bit insecure or, or is the same thing's gonna happen? Are, is somebody gonna cheat on me? Is are they on social media? Like, are they on dating apps? It's but scary. Is, is, so going to a new relationship, say you meet a new guy, yep, or whatever it is, is it fair to him to, to, to use your experience in the past against him? Like, oh my God, this guy. Is, I hear it all the time. Well, you don't understand. My my last boyfriend was the same. What was cheating on me, and now I'm like this. But is that fair to me or, or JoJo? It's or, totally not fair. But I think it just follows us. Like the the, the insecurities will eat you alive. Yeah. And how does social media ruin it? It just amplifies, I think, our ability to get in touch with people, to see people. She like you're just something's not working out, and you're just scrolling through the feed. Well, that person looks good. Maybe I should send a DM, slide into the DMs. So for you, you're dating a guy in a relationship, and you see because you can see on Instagram like they might like a picture of another girl. Yeah, is that not okay? I do not appreciate that. I think even following somebody is just basically like saying hello in 2018. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Do you agree yeah. with that? What if they're a friend? Okay. So you're saying now, now we start dating, right? Me and Olivia start dating. Mm -hmm. You and me become friends. I can't follow you on Instagram? You can. I would probably ask what the relationship is. Like, how do you know this person? I'd probably bring it to their attention. And I'd be like, oh, she wrote a book and, and we became cool. <laughs> I'm interviewing her. Yeah. Maybe you're in a different position because you're on the radio and you have, you know, more people no, and but, but, more connections. Which I understand, but that's not an excuse for me to act any differently than any other male. But again, or you meet, but nothing to do with the radio, but I met a... I met a girl at work. She's super cool. Like we're we're, we're friends. Yeah, like we're, maybe it depends on the photo that they're liking and maybe the person, okay. the the quality of the page. I, I'm talking the follow right now, though. Okay, so the the follow depending on the page. Like if it's so a, would you be that one that's an like, Instagram model versus you know an author of a book? Which we use like, locally, Instagram like if she, yeah, uh, Instagram <laughs> model. Um, yeah. <laughs> so are you are you on Instagram looking for their actions and what they're doing? I will check up on it. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I will, and it's just because I expect people to do the wrong thing. All right. So so now I follow somebody that you have no idea who it is. You start to fight over it? Or how does this come up? How do you know this person? That's all I would ask. But if the relationship is legitimate, I won't have a problem with that. But, you know, if it's just, and you can kind of tell. You get a gut feeling. Like, cause I wouldn't, not every single person that you'd follow, I'd be like, hey, what's going on? It's just. What you would do, and I understand this, you would then stalk that girl. Yeah. And then you and would then make an assessment. And, and then if she's a threat <laughs> right. to you, or, right. or like, if you feel like, oh, he might be. In if there, you have like, no mutual friends, if she has, like, you know, her. Butt out in every single picture, like right. it's butt out's the key to the problems. Yeah, yeah, you know what an Instagram girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you know. Mikey follows a lot of those Instagram <laughs> oh, good, models. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot? <laughs> um, all right, so, but now you're willing to start a fight over this, even though like okay, <laughs> relationship. Relation, this is my point all the time. This is where I think a lot of things go wrong. Is um, relationship's perfect. He's treating you very well. He's never cheated on you. He's never even given you the hint of cheating on you. Um, is it worth starting a fight over a follow on Instagram? No, it's not. And if, if but you would, I would, depending on the person, it just depends on the account, honestly. But I feel like that's not fair. I think you're saying depending on the person, you're basically saying if she's an attractive female. I want to know if you guys have like all of your friends follow her. Do you have mutual friends, or is it, are you just literally following a random person that lives in California, and that you would, honestly don't know? Okay. I, at this point, I think everybody that's dating in 2018 is like so on, like so at ease that they don't know like if. Like, all right, this new person comes to my life, but should I trust him or should I not? And I definitely see where you're coming from because mm -hmm. it's just like, all right, who, like, how much baggage do they have? They can't be that, like, nice of a guy, right. nice of a girl. You you're know? waiting for the other shoe to drop, always. Right. Like, you meet this person, they're awesome like, in the beginning. The yeah, like, why are you so nice? Yeah. <laughs> why are you so perfect? <laughs> and isn't that sad that women have to think that way at this point? Yeah. And it really is due to our society and whatnot. All right, I so think. Instagram, follow, no good. Now, now liking a picture. Depends on the picture. Depending on, depends on the picture. If you're liking a picture of my book cover, that's fine. I'm not going to start an argument about that. If you're liking a picture of a selfie with like this beautiful girl and her boobs are up to her chin, you know, <laughs> and we've been dating for a long time, I'm going to have a problem with that. And what are you going to say? 
I'm going to say, you know, I'd really appreciate it if you, you know, just didn't like random right. pictures like that. It, it's embarrassing for me. It's, you know, other people see that in the feed. Oh. Everybody that I know that follows you sees that and they're like, oh, Taylor's boyfriend is just a real tool, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying, so I get that point. It makes you look bad. Yeah. I understand that. I mean, how would you feel if I was liking this like ripped guy that's like beautiful? Like, what, what would I'd be you like, feel? Like, it's time to go to the gym. <laughs> 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 no, no, I, no, it would bother me too. Yeah. I mean, this, this what, what's the sucks is. This was never a problem 10 years ago. No. This was never a situation before right. all this. And that's why we're talking today is because it's all changed. It's a whole different story. It's like an, another thing that has been an argument in my relationships before, maybe one of your guys, but like, what if, and for me, it's a different again, I guess, because I work in radio, but like, say you text me, right? I'm busy at work, I'm busy at work, you text me. I don't answer, not because it's like midday, I'm not doing anything crazy, like unless I'm like really crazy, I'm not doing anything, and I'm at work, and I post an Instagram story, but I don't answer your text message yet. Have you been to that argument before? No, not that exact one, but I, I would honestly be like, I would feel a little offended. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, I think I, I would too. I'd be like, come on. You obviously looked at your phone. You can at least text me back and be like, hey, I have a lot of stuff going on right now. I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, I would appreciate I, that. I think my point to all that just is, are these arguments worthwhile, worthwhile of an fight. argument? I think this is why relationships are so, so tough because now we're arguing over things that matter. I'm not saying they don't matter. Yeah. But instead of arguing over cheating or arguing over like like aggressive like like wrongdoings, we're arguing over these small little things. But yeah, there's like very very sensitive things that we just get all like touched caught up on. on. Yeah. yeah, but then you have seven of those happen in a month, and now in your mind, it's the like whole, game over. Yeah, exactly. But if you're active on Instagram or if you open my Snapchat and you haven't responded to a text, how would that make you feel? No. I'm I'm not saying I'm any better at dealing with this than anybody here is. I'm simply expressing how. You're kind of like, oh, he, he he didn't open it. I mean, he opened it and he didn't respond to my text. Like, okay. Yeah. I think women too, they see those little things as like red flags. They're like, oh, he, he posted something on Instagram but didn't, you know, reply 100%. to my text. 100%. And they, they, but a red flag at one in the afternoon when I'm at work, what am I possibly doing? It's just the act of not texting back. And I think they take it and they take all these little things and they add them up all together and they're like, oh, these are not great traits I want in a man. Type thing. And maybe over time that turns into resentment and exactly. anger. Over time it can turn just builds. I see that because now you're snapping. And you're, then you're, yeah, you're, you're irritable you're, and you're like, you're ready to go. Well, you're ready to yeah. Why didn't you snap me back two months ago? Like <laughs> yeah, they, this means about that. Like when people don't answer your text right. and you remember, <laughs> like things like that, like crazy things. All right, so now um, Snapchat. Uh huh. Dating a guy, you can see who's he's Snapchatting. You throw it to a Snapchat. Other girls are snapping him. Is that a problem? That makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. I would appreciate that if, if, you, if you put a stop to that. I have to trust that he's going to control. Like, sometimes you can't control who snaps you, but don't respond to it and, and don't engage with it and shut it right. down completely, just right off the does bat. He, does, he, does he have to tell you? Hey, um, Amanda Snapchatting me. We used to be friends back in the day, hooked up. Uh, we don't talk anymore, but you sent me a snap. Oh, if you hooked up, that's a no-no. Yeah. She needs to go. So, so, but then he, ha he has to tell you. I, you know... That's a tough question. I don't know if he has to tell me. I would just hope that he would handle it himself. Mm. And and yeah. you hope that I don't want him to feel like he has to to respond to me or to answer to me at all. Yeah. But like report back to you. Yeah. Like what? how was your Snapchatting day? Right. Like, how was your Snapchat <laughs> game today? <laughs> what are your statistics looking like? <laughs> exactly. All right, so we're gonna play a quick little game of Would You Rather. Okay. And so basically, since your book is about dating a professional athlete, it's gonna be between you and Olivia. It's be, would you rather date a guy who does this mm -hmm. or who does this, okay? Okay. So the first one is, would you rather, I think I know what your answer is going to be, date an athlete or a doctor? Doctor. Oh, for sure, a doctor. Doctor. All right. <laughs> he, he's a professional athlete. He's in the show. He's, he's doing his thing. Still a doctor. Yeah. The baseball player will be gone every mm -hmm. other week. Different cities yeah. all the time. Different. No, thank you. I'm good. If you had to pick a sport, would you rather date a professional baseball player or a professional football player? I would do football because I just think most football guys are pretty hot. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why. Who's your favorite football player? Uh, womp, womp, womp. Okay, uh, I'll go on. Go sports. <laughs> a lot of them. All the uh, this is what I know for, for um, Olivia. Would you rather date Drake or Tom Brady? You went to first. Tom Brady. The exact wow. opposite. Uh, I mean, I love Drake. He has a special place in my heart. We had a conversation one time about on group chat on Kiss about, <laughs> yes. about uh, you know, like a, what a hall pass would be. So so basically, Olivia still has this like handwritten signature ready to go, but she's basically saying, <laughs> even if she's married, if she has an opportunity to hook up with Drake, 
she deserves a hall pass. Okay. Would you, would, 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 do you think you would ever deserve a hall pass for your celebrity crush and or would your husband? I I personally wouldn't, and my husband I know would definitely not be okay with that. So so you're saying 100% no? 100% no. Because uh, right. I would be so jealous if someone else got a hall pass, and then that would just be a huge argument. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if they got the hall pass and you didn't, I'd be like, well. I'm... I can have a hall pass, but you can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to allow them both. Both sides have to have the hall pass. All uh, right, then the last one, neither of you guys messed this one up, a TV host or a radio host? Ooh. Radio host, I'll right. be. <laughs> radio host. <Sorry. laughs> uh, Taylor Higgins, real quick, explain your book. Where can people find it, and uh, where can they go read about your story about dating professional athletes? And between, find you on social media. Exactly. Bet- yeah, between the stitching, available on Amazon only online. Um, my social media on Instagram. You can chat with me there about it. It is Tay Higgins, T A Y Higgins no underscore. Crazy DMs. No crazy yeah, DMs, please. but if you need advice about relationships, I've I've experienced it all. So come find me. So you'll be joining us uh, multiple times, talking about group chat, talking about different relationship yeah. problems here in Boston. Mm-hmm. Over time, I appreciate your time. The Thank Nike you so out. much. Woo-hoo.